Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan and Sparkle. <laughs> and today, oh, someone's wriggling. Oh, Erin. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, she fell. Erin. Come get you. Chippy. Sit. Sit. They actually did good. I put Sparkle down. She went over to him. Sit. And he was okay. Sit. So today I'm going to be doing a cook with me and answering your assumptions about me, which you left me on Instagram. Anyways, let's get started. First, I'm going to start by getting out all of the ingredients. Okay, so we just like swapped sides, but the first thing I'm going to do is peel and cut the potatoes. Oh, I haven't even told you what I'm making yet. I'm making feta and lemon stuffed chicken breasts with mash so I just got three potatoes and I'm gonna peel them and then cut them and I did just wash my hands by the way Okay guys, I'll be back when I'm done. So now that I'm done cutting up my potatoes, I'm just gonna put some water in here and then put them on the stove to start cooking. So I'm just gonna turn that all the way up and then add a bit of salt. Now I'm gonna cut up my beans after I quickly rinse them. And these are just going to be roasted. I'm going to start answering your assumptions while I do this as well. So, I want to keep these long. I'm just cutting off like the ends and any bad bits. But the first assumption is, I'm assuming the new treatment is working. Fortunately, that is a correct assumption. It has been working so far. And I'm going to have a scan in a couple weeks to make sure it's still working. So yeah, very happy that this treatment is working. I did, was honestly really scared it wouldn't have been working. So The next one. You're anxious about sudden hospital admissions. Definitely. Um, I never really used to be. But then since it's happening a lot more now, I'm definitely quite anxious about them because I don't, it usually means like it's like an emergency and stuff, obviously. I need to get in like straight away. I've also got to steam some of these for my sister, by the way. So I'm going to cut some up smaller and put them aside somewhere else. But anyway, continuing on with the anxious hospital admissions one um like it's obviously an emergency so that makes me anxious but then also like i'm just anxious about it happening because it happens so often and then i miss out on things like if i had plans i won't be able to do those plans anymore um the next assumption is that i'm in remission Unfortunately, I am not yet. Well, not as far as we know. Um, and I don't think I would be yet. Just, I think I'm going to be on this treatment for a little bit longer. Well, 
quite a bit longer. I believe people achieved like a full remission after about eight or so treatments of nivolumab. I've only had like four. Or, yeah, I've had four. So, I am probably not in remission yet. I don't think I am. I mean, anything's possible, I guess. But my last scan did still show evidence of disease. Next one. You got really good grades before your diagnosis. Um, not really. Like, I didn't get... I never failed, really, or anything. But, like, I did not get really good grades. Um, I'm pretty average with English and maths. And below average with science, I would say. Um, I did get good grades in, like, subjects that I liked. Like, um, food and nutrition. I always got pretty good grades. Well, depending on the assignment, that is, because I'm not a fan of writing lots. Um... So for nutrition, I'd get pretty good grades. Um, my Cert 3 in fitness, I actually got top of um, like the grade in year 11. Um, what other subjects? Um, Japanese, it really depended on what we were learning, whether I would get a good grade or not. Generally, they would be okay though. Um, but yeah, I was a pretty average student. Okay, so I've got all my beans in here. So I'm just gonna grab my seasonings and then season them. So I'm just gonna put some olive oil in here. Then we've got some salt. I like these salty so I'm gonna add quite a bit of salt and then I've got some pepper this is a new pepper I don't know how to open it a few moments later I had to get help to open that but here we go Those are all ready to be roasted. I'm just give them all next one. So real quick, I just want to cut the butter that I need. So I need a hundred grams. It says. You know what, I don't think I need a whole hundred, so I'm just going to use this a little bit. I think that should be more than enough for the amount of potato I've got. <laughs> but I just wanted to do that because now I'm going to be cutting the chicken. Because um, I've got to get my sister's cooked real quick. Because she's got she off. We just got some chicken breasts, which I will get out. Ooh. Anyway, um, she's pretty much just gonna have like these pieces. I'll just cook her up both of those and she'll have that with her beans but anyway i'm gonna quickly make her dinner then i'll be back to do doing this and stuffing these so erin is now eating her dinner so i'm back to the normal stuff so now i'm gonna make 
the inside of the chicken. So I've got some feta cheese here, which I'm just gonna crumble. Okay, I think that's all crumbled pretty well. So I'm gonna wash my fingers real quick. Next, I'm just gonna crush this garlic, the garlic pressure into here. Yeah, that's everything we're gonna get out of that piece of garlic. Okay, then next is I'm gonna get some thyme and just pull off all the little leaves and sprinkle those in here. Okay, I think that's about enough time. So next I'll add some salt and pepper. Oh God. <laughs> and then some lemon zest. Now the recipe I'm using does not say to do this, but I'm going to add lemon juice because I can and I think it'll taste better. And now I'm going to mix this all up. So that is all mixed up now. So I'm going to get my chicken. Okay, now it's time to cut and stuff these chickens. And I will answer some more assumptions while I do this. Oof, that's salt. <laughs> So the next assumption is you are always positive and happy. Um, that definitely is not true. I mean, obviously you guys see more of the good stuff because like when I'm sad, I don't really want to pick up a camera and film, but like, I do try to share that a little bit if I can. Um, but I definitely am not always positive and happy. I mean, I'm pretty much like everyone else. I have my good days and my bad days. And yeah. Okay, so we're getting this chicken nice and stuffed. So I just cut a little pocket and now I'm putting the feta and lemon mixture in there. Um, try to spread that around a bit. I think this is going to be the last spoonful for this one. I don't know, maybe these big chicken breasts. Anyway, there we go. Okay, the next one. It might be harder to find a job since you weren't able to finish your 12. Um, not really. I had medical reasons for not finishing. And there's like laws against discriminating against medical reasons and things. I mean, and the jobs that I want, you don't really need education at school for. Like, I would like to be a personal trainer, so I just need to have my certificate. Then it's basically just my own business. No one else really 
has any control over that stuff. Nice big pocket here. Okay, time to stuff with the rest of this. The next one. You have a really good relationship with your sister. It's definitely a pretty good relationship. It used to be so like much worse, especially when we were little. Um, but when I got diagnosed with cancer, we got a lot better actually. I guess it's just like, it's also just our ages, but I definitely don't get as annoyed with her. I think I was really moody because of um, all the stuff that was going on, um, like in my head with um, having a lump on my neck and just being scared. So I don't think that helped with our relationship. But then when I got diagnosed and stuff, she was trying to be really good and helpful and I just didn't really have the energy to fight with her about anything either. But yeah, our relationship is pretty good. Like we still fight sometimes like all siblings do, but definitely much better than we were. Sparkle, no! She loves chewing on my shoes. Anyway. I have got all the feta mixture in these chickens. So I'm going to quickly wash my fingers and then grab some toothpicks to like make it stay together. I just spilt toothpicks all over the floor, but it's fine. Anyway, let's quickly do this because then my chicken is ready to be cooked. You might hear Sparkle start um, crying now because she's not in the kitchen with me anymore because there's toothpicks all over the ground <laughs> and we do not want her eating those. Yep, there she goes. So that's ready. So I'm just gonna fry up these chickens and put them in the oven. Then we'll continue with the mashed potatoes. And yeah, I'll do some more assumptions. Okay, so I'm standing up because I'm about to mash the potato. I've just put the butter in with it. That's mashing pretty easily. You can hear sparkle in the background there. The next one, you would like more doggies one day. 100%. I love dogs. I'm obsessed. Even when they're barking like this. I love the two, my two um, big dogs, Daphne and Chippy. This vest and my little pup up sparkle. I love having puppy snuggles and all that good stuff. I just love dogs. I'd also love to get a cat one day, but my parents... I'm not huge cat people, so they won't let me get one. I'm also allergic though, so that's gonna be fun. Um, okay, next. You have like a million types of patterned feeding tube tape. Um, I've got a few, but I don't really have that much. I'm almost out actually, I need to order some more. Um, you love your sister more than Sparkle McMuffin. And if you're wondering who um, asked that assumption, that was Erin, my little sister. I'm just gonna flip these real quick. Anyway, I'm pretty sure she already knows the answer to this. I obviously love Sparkle more. Um, you like being Australian. Yes, I do. I'm very grateful to be living in a place with such great treatments and hospitals to get my cancer treatment and to just live in such a nice place where I feel safe to live and go to school and go out in public. I'm very grateful. 
you were healthy before being diagnosed with cancer. Yes, I was very healthy and active. I did cheerleading practice at least twice a week. Um, plus, I had my surgery in fitness. I loved sport. Um, but yeah, I was definitely healthy. I just was a bit accident prone. You miss your old hair, most definitely. I loved having long hair. I was actually trying to grow it out when I was diagnosed. But, well, that didn't go to plan, obviously. But yeah, I, I very much miss it. I am trying to grow my hair back out now. I can't wait for it to be long again. Spark is really making a racket. So I'm just going to add some of this cream. Now, I did add some seasoning, just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I am going to put this back over the heat before I serve. I just splashed cream on myself, but you know, it's fine. I'm going to put this back over the heat for a little bit before I serve it. Because... It's probably cooled down a lot. I'm gonna check on that chicken. Okay. Next, that you will live to be 89 years old. I got no idea. You'll have to follow along to see. I hope to. Your dog is emotional support in a good way. Definitely. And she definitely will help me to get more active again. That's part of why I wanted to get a dog. Because I find them very helpful with getting me up and improving my mobility and my lungs and stuff. Just because you take them on walks and things all the time. And that is all the assumptions. So I'm just going to quickly finish this mash and then I'll show you how it looks. Look at that chicken. 69, 68. It is, it's all done. We've got some wine and then we've got beans, mashed potato and the chicken, which looks so good. The taste test. So first I'll taste a bean. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I cooked in a bit of lemon juice as well. Next, the potato. Pretty good, just tastes like mashed potato. Now let's cut this chicken. I'm gonna show you what that looks like open. Look at that. So good. Sparkle even wants to come try some, I think. Okay, let's taste it. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'll be back after I'm done eating. So that dinner was so good. But anyways, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, please make sure to like this video. And subscribe to my channel and you can also turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video i hope you enjoyed me answering those assumptions and i'll see you guys next time bye